hate being made to feel small. We can't stand being humbled or reminded of our insignificance. We get affronted and resentful. The 18th century Anglo-Irish philosopher Edmund Burke, however, thought that these experiences could be rather wonderful and quite important too. To explain what he meant, he developed the idea of the sublime in a beautiful book called A Philosophical Inquiry into the Origin of Our Ideas of the Sublime and Beautiful, first published in England in 1757. In modern use, sublime just means very, very nice, a sublime glass of Chambertin, a sublime plate of scrambled eggs with truffles. But this wasn't at all what Burke was interested in, though there is a slight connection. For Burke, a sublime experience is indeed one that's really nice, but it's nice for a very strange reason. It makes us feel insignificant. Burke was obsessed with a range of experiences, that is, sublime experiences, in which being slightly humiliated is actually something we relish. He was picking up on a sector of human experience that up to then had been totally ignored. One of his key examples is storms. The vast dark sky is oppressive, the wind is horribly powerful, large trees are overturned. We feel we're nothing in the face of the violence of nature. But this helps put things in perspective. In comparison with a storm, the familiar irritants of daily life seem less significant. Something similar happens when we contemplate a huge mountain or view the enormous frozen wilderness of the Labrador coast from the window of an Airbus A380. 